Raquel and feeling sa mga bibo kay Kosa, but you can call me Missy, that's M-I-S-S-Y. I'm 18, a student from grade 12 STEM honor of Mindanao State University, General Santos City. Who am I? Well, I'm just a simple, not so brilliant student, but with big dreams. I can be funny, kiddy and outgoing if I want to, but I can also be quiet, cold, and timid if I'm not in the mood. Anyway, so much about me. Let's go on and talk about our main subject in this video, Media and Information Literacy. Media and Information Literacy, or often called MIL, is a subject that introduces learners to basic understanding of media and information as channels of communication and tools for the development of individuals and society. This subject also aims to develop students to be creative and critical thinkers, as well as responsible users and competent producers of media and information. To really incorporate our lessons about this subject in our minds, we had activities. And that is what I'm going to share with you all in this video. So sit back, relax, and enjoy! was the timeline of exposure to traditional and new media. This is based on our second lesson, Evolution of Media. This activity is basically about the evolution of media from traditional to new. This timeline includes the four ages of media, the prehistoric, industrial, electronic, and information age. Along with this timeline are examples of media from the respective ages. Our second activity was about making social campaign infographic. We were tasked to pick a specific societal issues and make an infographics about it. Our group chose to make an infographic about plagiarism. This topic is under our seventh lesson, legal, ethical, and societal issues. I enjoyed making this infographic and also I learned a lot about plagiarism. Our third activity was to design our own wearable technology for our chosen marginalized sector. This activity is based on our lesson, Current and Future Trends of Media and Information. I chose the agricultural sector because of the fact that they are the backbone of our society, yet they are so unrecognized and sometimes degraded. I created a smart watch called Bantai that allows the farmer to monitor and control their crops and livestock from a watch. This will act as the farmer's eyes and ears to their source of living. Our fourth and last activity was to create a comic strip about our chosen topic. I chose the topic about mental health. I chose this because I really want to be a mental health advocate. So by making a comics about it is a step closer to what I want. I incorporated my media and information knowledge and applied all the necessary text and visual design principles. I used the iPads out the desk and Photoshop in making this activity. To know more about the four activities we had, I provided a link in the description box below that will lead you to the folder where I kept all my activities in this subject. Now, let's go on and talk about my favorite task in this subject. It is the third task. Designing our own prototype of a wearable technology. I love this task because it allows us to incorporate our knowledge about media and the information we acquired to create something from our mind that could help in lessening the burden of living our everyday lives. <music> Lastly, my takeaways and realizations about this subject. Overall, this subject taught me a lot about media and information that will surely help me to become a media and information third person. This taught me to be more critical and selective of what information I consume and produce. With all the information, I have concluded that media, information, and technology are all double-edged swords. They can either break us or build us. So as a media and information literate person, let's just take the good side of it to maximize our usage. Again, this is Feliz Amibibo Ricosa of Stam Euler, leaving you with a quote from Don Miller, In the age of information, ignorance is a choice. Kaya, stay literate and informed mga ka-MIL. See you and stay safe!